I think it's really important for the kids to experience intergenerational interaction because so often I think in society we live in these really segregated areas and like you only live with your immediate family or you know a lot of our students are children of divorce and so their family unit becomes even smaller. In the global sense of what's going on here is a, a sense of community, a sense of young and old coming together, appreciating each other. Just yes. Yes. Croquet is a way to be playful together. At Jiminy Wicket, we believe that playing together creates possibility and well-being. My magic moment is just knowing that there is such an association as we have here and that our group has been able to come. So we're not that behind. Okay. We're right there with them. So today we had guests from one of Brookdale's communities called Mountain View. They've been coming over here to Northfield High School for the whole of the school year now. I guess my magic moment is being here every time I come here and walk in and see all your kids playing and waiting for us and going through it and it's just beautiful and we thank you. I thank you very, very much for it. I love it. To be around the young people is uh, a treat for them and for the young people it's an unexpected pleasure that they discover all of a sudden they've got a few more grandmothers, grandfathers than they did. What they learn from the adults is many things. Patience, longevity, this is maybe what I'm gonna look like, and who's gonna care for me 30, 40 years down the road, 50 years down the road. What I see as a counselor is a lot of students feel very disconnected from people and feel disconnected from society. And that causes all kinds of things, right? Anxiety, depression. And so I think what this is so wonderful at is it gives students a sense of connection and not just with a peer or with a parent who they see all the time, but with you know someone who's much older and has different wisdom to give them and different stories to tell them. Um, I think my magic moment is just coming here every Tuesday because it's always fun. And I always have a good time and even if I'm down, it cheers me up. Let's look at it. Both generations in some way or not are, are institutionalized. Our kids come here for eight hours a day and they're in an institution. And our elderly are in a different type of institution. But when we bring them together, it, it, it all of a sudden takes out the walls of both places and says it's a different place. I'm not in a place called school, and I'm not in a place called a nursing home or um, assisted living. I think it's a very physically appropriate game that can be something that individuals well into their 90s can do safely um, and with pleasure. Yeah. and young kids can do it because they get a kick out of it. And they're really able to see that, you know, life is much bigger than just high school. You know, it kind of gives them a long-term view of what's ahead of them, and it's nice for them to have those connections with people who can provide that perspective. It is absolutely what a lot of schools would strive for. This gives the young students the opportunity to benefit from the wisdom of those that have gone before them. We have absolutely loved coming and hanging out with you guys every Tuesday. Honestly, with the moment we get in the bus to the moment you guys meet us with smiles and um, just warm hugs, literally makes our week. They, this is the best, the best activity we have at Mountain View and they absolutely love coming and hanging out with you guys. I think what Jiminy Wicket has offered is that other piece that we know is important for our health and our longevity, and it's around meaning and purpose. And whether we call it altruism or whether we say it's sharing and giving or compassion, it is that connection that we have with other people, that deep connection and support. And for many people that comes out of their spirituality, and for other people it's just doing good. As my father aged, and as he faced what we thought would be maybe the last year or two of his life, 
living with vascular dementia. I was looking for something that we could do together and on what we thought might be his last summer vacation. We went to stay at a little hotel in southwest England. They had a croquet lawn and I thought I'm gonna give it a try. So many individuals with dementia can't find words. They can't get it at what it is that they want to say. And, and so playing a game is something that they can do physically and they don't have to worry so much about whether they've said the right thing or used the right word. Aging can be a very isolating experience for the elderly. It can be isolating for their families who don't know how to be with granny or grandpa anymore. As we played croquet together over the course of the two weeks that we stayed there, these people who didn't want to socialize with us wanted to play with us. And I realized there was something that could help um, bridge a communication gap, a stigma gap, an isolation gap. I think that when James found this with his father, he had a joyfulness himself as the child of someone with dementia because he said, I've found something that I can do with dad and we can connect and we can be together and I love it and he does too. Before his father died, he said, you know what, this is so wonderful. I should find a way to make this um, happen um, because I love it and I love croquet and maybe there's some things that I could do to help other people. Started a program in Denver playing with elderly people and people that are living with Alzheimer's disease for the Colorado chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. I read about and I thought it sounded awesome and so I met with him and he kind of told me a little bit about how it works with senior citizens who have Alzheimer's and pairs them with high schools and the students and the seniors play croquet together and it just seemed like a really cool way to get students involved in their community. I stepped back and watched in amazement as the young people and the old people were experiencing something together that I couldn't create. You show that things are possible and you create a culture whereby you're saying ordinary activities, things like croquet, that people like doing, they can carry on doing when they've got dementia. So that's fantastic. I have watched a man be transformed as he has found a way to love his father and then to reach out to other people and share that same thing. You've turned your family experience into a real beacon of hope. 